At Consumer Alert, targeting small businesses in our area, we've heard from two business owners who say their company Instagram accounts have been hacked, causing them to be locked out and lose a vital part of their marketing. News for Jack's reporter Vig Michalucci says it only took one click for scammers to get full access. It was 1 million, but it actually hit 1.2, but I don't have proof of that. It was a big win for Gabby Montana's small business. Her Instagram reel went viral with more than a million views. That's a lot of exposure. So I do a lot of business through social media just by taking videos, pictures of the things I'm doing. From weddings to special events and decor, she custom makes signs for just about anything. It works for her because she's a mother and a Navy wife who's often moving. Once we moved back to Jack's, it kind of blew up more than I thought it was going to. But that success just hit a road bump. She got a message claiming to be from Instagram's parent company, Meta. It said that there was a copyright infringement, so I thought, oh gosh, because my reel went viral, maybe I did do something wrong and I'm such a rule follower, so I... I clicked the link. Just clicking the link. You did not put in a password yep. or give them any private information. Yeah, just clicking the link, and that was it. Wow. Mm -hmm. The message wasn't from Meta or Instagram. It was actually from a hacker, someone who took over her business profile. They changed the password, the username, and the pictures, but they kept her precious followers. She says she had no luck reaching out to Instagram, so she resorted to begging the hacker, who then asked for a ransom of $200 for her account back. Montana, now skeptical, said no. Well, who's to say in a few weeks that they won't ask for it again or, you know, that they will ever give you back access. So once it's gone, you're likely not going to be able to buy your way out of it. Former News for Jack's consumer reporter Lauren Verno now works for cybersecurity firm On Defend. She says this is a common scam that people need to look out for. I've seen it done to huge million dollar organizations where I mean, they've lost millions because of things just like this, that one email. And it goes back to take a look at it, take that second, do a little research, because to be honest with you, nothing's going to happen in five minutes if you don't click that message right away. It'll probably be worse if you did it. Montana's not alone. That same day, the owner of BS Sweet Designs, a local baking company, also lost her account. She, too, reached out to us to warn others before they fall victim. A lot of the local businesses have been so supportive and, you know, putting my Instagram profile on theirs and sharing it and sharing the story. We did reach out to Meta this afternoon and a spokesperson got back with us asking for more information. If they are able to help these small businesses, of course, we'll keep you posted. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.